Well, here's a subject that will never go away. Newly released emails claim that a Jeffrey Epstein victim has some of his blackmail videos of wealthy men fooling around with underage girls. Uh, This is going to be interesting. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. In a newly released 2017 deposition of Sarah Ransom, who was one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims, it reveals that Ransom claims to have some of Epstein's blackmail videos of his wealthy clients and young girls having sex. Now, she claimed to have made copies and spread them all around and on a thumb drive that was given to someone to release in case something happened to her. Oh, man, can you imagine that this is now going to come out? They epstein Jeffrey Epstein, and so what do you think they're going to do to her? Now that people know that she has the blackmail videos and that there's a thumb drive with people who have orders to release the stuff if something happens to her, do you think that's enough to protect her? Do you think these these wealthy people will figure out who it is that has the thumb drive? Is that person in serious danger? Ransom said that not long after meeting Epstein, she traveled with him to Orgy Island. She said she met Epstein in 2006 after one of his female associates approached her and introduced the two of them. She also visited Epstein's apartment in New York City. Now get this. She also said that they got her to see Epstein's psychiatrist. Ransom said, quote, Jeffrey's psychiatrist prescribed me lithium, Ritalin, and there's a bipolar description drug that was also prescribed to me by Jeffrey Epstein's psychiatrist. I can't remember the exact name of the bipolar drug, but I was started off with lithium and Ritalin. Now, doesn't lithium like slow you down? I don't know. But I know Ritalin for adults, it speeds you up. I mean, for the kids, it calms them down. But for adults, it speeds you up. Eh. So I thought it was just two ends of the spectrum. She said that one of the side effects of the lithium was weight gain. And she said that that became an issue for both Epstein and Glenn Maxwell. She said that Maxwell told her to keep her weight down to about 115 pounds. She was five foot eight inches tall. She said that the weight gain issue came to a head while at Epstein's Little St. James Island. Ransom said, quote, I can't remember the specific conversation, how it went. We got into an argument about my weight, quite a heated argument. I recall it getting overheated and that I ran off and tried to swim off the island. I wanted to get as far away from Jeffrey and Ghislaine as possible. That's when Epstein actually sent out a search party and they found her and brought her back to the big perv man. Ransom said that Epstein was manic about how his girls looked and that he picked out and bought their clothes and makeup. She said, quote, all of the outfits. There were clothes provided on the island by Jeffrey Epstein, which were all Victoria's Secret clothing, bikinis, nightgowns. Now, here's where it gets really dicey and juicy. Okay, from the blaze. During her six months with Epstein, Ransom claimed that the convicted pedophile would record videos of his associates having sex with his stable of women. She asserted that Epstein recorded the tapes as blackmail. And it goes on saying... In newly unsealed emails, Ransom wrote, When my friend had sexual intercourse with redacted and redacted, sex tapes were in fact filmed on each occasion by Jeffrey. (laughs) Thank God she managed to get a hold of some footage of the filmed sex tapes, which clearly identify the faces of redacted one and redacted two, having sexual intercourse with her, the email claimed. Frustratingly enough, Epstein was not seen in any of the footage, but he was clever like that. It goes on. Ransom alleged in the email that her friend sent her footage of the threesome act. (laughs) She also alleged that she backed up copies of the tapes on USB sticks and kept them hidden in multiple European locations. Ransom asserted that she told a single individual where the secret videos were located in case anything happens to me before the footage is released. I'll put a link to the emails down in the description. Now, living life on the edge, Ransom said, I will be more than willing to swear under oath and testify in court over these sex tapes. Boy, she's getting cocky with the dark forces, don't you think? Okay, now there's an incredible book out there written by Whitney Webb. It was just released not that long ago. And it's called One Nation Under Blackmail. 
the sordid union between intelligence and organized crime that gave rise to Jeffrey Epstein. This is a two-volume book, and it gets into, I mean, it goes all the way back to the OSS days and prior um, to the creation of the CIA. And the entire book is basically a history of all the corruption of governments around the world, including the United States and her allies throughout the years, and it included people in organized crime like Lucky Luciano and others who worked with and for the government. And the book is basically pointing out that there were several different types of people who worked for the CIA to control assets, very important people, okay? And it turns out that Epstein was a blackmailer for the CIA and probably other services around the world, and he used sex tapes to blackmail these very important people. And it could be politicians high up in governments, uh, corporate executives and whatnot. So the book gets into how, when dealing with China and other Asian nations, our government got into the opium business because these people, these organizations out there, uh, they tried to buy off people and they tried to recruit people into the CIA. Well, they didn't use money for currency. All right. They used opium. It is a fantastic book. I've read volume one and I just ordered volume two. And I'm going to put the link to volume one down in the description. Now, it's a fascinating read and there is more in there than your brain can deal with, which believe me is a good thing, though. There's so much information in there about the corruption of world governments throughout our history. And I don't have any deals with this author. I don't have an affiliate program going on with Amazon on this book. I just think it's a great book about the corruption throughout the world that led to the creation of a Jeffrey Epstein monster. So I can't wait for these videotapes, this evidence, to be talked about more and possibly to be released. Wouldn't that be cool to find out who all the schmucks are in top government? I know the leftists out there try to say that, that Trump went to Orgy Island and all that because there were photos of him uh, with, with uh, Ghislaine and with Jeffrey Epstein. But uh, they always leave out the end part, which is, that as soon as Trump figured out who Epstein was and what he was doing, he dumped him like a hot potato. He booted him out of his club for life. So that's it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being with us. And we will see you in the next one. Sugar, sugar train, I got my summer's on the rain. I want to crash and numb the 